Hi, today we're talking about HIIT interval training, um, but using this for strength training. So with HIIT, it's high intensity interval training. And most of the time with HIIT training, um, it's normally very cardio based, but I'm teaching a weight training class. So we are going to focus it and kind of rework it so that we're really using the strength components to the best of our ability. So why do we want to focus more on strength than just cardio because a lot of people are like, well, cardio is where I'm gonna lose the most weight. But if we can get that high intensity in with the strength training, we can really burn more calories while we're weight lifting as well. And we're getting that muscle building component um, versus just the weight shredding, the weight loss. We're getting the weight loss and the muscle building because if we just focus on the weight loss, which a lot of people, when they wanna lose a lot of weight, they just focus on the cardio because they're gonna see the quickest weight and numbers drop. However, we're also gonna have a lot of loose skin if we're dropping that much weight that fast. So strength training is really important to incorporate in um, so that we're toning it up. We're reattaching the skin to the muscle as the muscle's developing because that fat layer is gonna be gone. But two, strength training in general is really great because you're going to get that bone health because if you think about a sponge, um, a sponge is loose and there's a lot of holes in it. Um, your bone is very similar to that. But as we put the weight in, it's like we're scrunching and we're pushing and we're compressing. We're getting it a lot stronger. Um, so versus you have one piece of paper versus a stack of pieces of paper, it's going to be a lot harder to cut. It's going to be a lot harder to break. Okay, so going on to this hit interval training, I'm going to give you kind of an outline to follow so that you can develop your own plan. Um, if you check out my previous videos or if you're in the class, you will see that we've gone over a lot of upper body workouts and a lot of lower body workouts. With this exercise, we're going to do cardio. It's going to be a short bit of cardio, so not something quite as intense. Um, but with the cardio, you are going to be moving at a quick enough pace that you're not going to be able to be texting and walking or texting and riding the bike. Um, you're going to be moving fast enough that maybe you can listen to music or be watching a video or something of that sort, um, but you're not going to be enough to be texting. Um, you should be moving quicker than that. So if you start being able to text while you're doing this, you know you're not pushing it enough. So what we're going to be doing is the first five minutes is going to be cardio and normally I recommend this is going to be the bike um, and then we're going to move on to the strength training component which I have here a b a b and there's five times none of these are going to repeat themselves not on this first time you're going to be doing this twice and that's how you're going to repeat it so you should have five different a workouts and five different b workouts a is going to be upper body and b is going to be lower body primarily legs and glutes Okay, and then we're going to move on to another bit of cardio. You can do five minutes, you can do ten minutes, that's up to you, but at least getting in five minutes. And maybe this is the elliptical. Um, and then we're going to repeat that strength component. And then we're going to move into a little bit more strength style cardio. So if you're on the elliptical, you're going to be more in a squat. Or um, you might be on the bike or the stair step. Then you're going to do the same thing, five different core exercises. Five minutes of cardio really recommend that stair step because you're going to be moving slower and it's going to make you push hard because you got to keep climbing um, and it's really hard to stop and then you're going to repeat that core over again so if you look and add up that five 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 you're looking at about 20 minutes um oh, let's see yeah about 20 minutes of cardio um, and so the, approximately about 20 minutes of weight training of course the better you get at this the more you do it and especially if you have your workout plan already ready, you're gonna be able to probably get less than 40 minutes. But if you push and you do the 10 here, or maybe you repeat this a third time, um, or you do more than just five, of course it's gonna be more than 40 minutes. So that's how you can really break this down. Now you can start getting variety on that A, B portion because maybe on your A, you choose to do the front side of your body. Maybe on B, you choose to do the back side of your body. Um, as long as the big point there is that the upper body is resting while the lower body is working and the lower body is resting while the upper body is working. So there's no rest time for you. It's active recovery. So that is how you design your HIT strength training. Um, and if you have any questions um, or comments or anything that you think there should be added to this video, 
leave a comment below, but you can also feel free to send me an email, um, especially if you're in my class, you can also send me a text. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks and have fun.